in this video let's see how we can use this same api endpoint to work for post data okay so so far we have seen how we can use it for get right so get will actually get all the data right now we want to use post so the django rest framework will give us the form where we can post the data or where we can store the data all right so let's try that let's go back to views.py and uh, you see we have used get here right but this time we also want the post right if you don't pass post then you cannot use a post method for this view all right so we are done with the get request now let's say elif request dot method is equal to post then uh, what we need to do is we need to actually initialize the serializer okay how to initialize serializer serializer is equal to the model ser uh, i mean the student serializer that we have created right student serializer will actually take the requested i mean the data which is inside the request right so that is data is equal to request dot data okay now after this we should say if serializer dot is valid now as i said this is same like django forms in django forms also you get inbuilt validation classes right inbuilt validation functions or modules that will check your forms for uh, you know validation errors similarly in serializers also you get this function called is valid right if the serializer is valid then it will give us true otherwise it will throw an error or it will return false okay so uh, we have this inbuilt function uh, that is a serializer dot is valid we will use that and if the serializer is valid then what we need to do we need to say simply serializer dot save so the moment you call save method on serializer the all the data which is inside the serializer will be stored in the database okay so let's return this time let's return response and we need to uh, it will be same as what we have done here right serializer dot data comma status equal to status dot http 201 created okay so this is the status code that we want to return all right now what if the serializer is not valid for some reason then simply say return response oh i'm sorry response then the serializer will also give us the serializer dot errors okay just like how it returns the serializer dot rate data it also gives us serializer dot errors all right if you want to see what is the error that the serializer returns then you can simply print serializer dot errors okay so this will return serializer dot errors and after that we will simply return status is equal to status dot uh, http maybe 404 uh, not 404 we will say 400 uh, bad request okay all right now I refresh this you will see there is one form here right so in this form we can put some data and click on post right so you see everything is very easy here django rest framework has given us this beautiful user interface as well as it has given us the form as well to post the data right so this is the get request that's why we are seeing here now you know what if i want to add some data in the database i will simply copy this one okay one set of data and paste it here you don't need to pass this id okay remove that id from there and uh, here you will remove 004 to 005 okay this is the new data that you are posting to the database or storing in the database right so name i will say test name right so this was test123 and this is test name and this is uh, maybe cs okay let's post this all right now you can see we got the response 
HTTP 201 created, which is the, you know, which is the status code that you, that you have written, right? So along with that, it has given us the ID 5, which was created automatically, which is a primary key and the student, everything is here, right? So this is the data that we have added. Now, what if I click on this uh, get, you see, it is bringing every data which is in the database, including the one that we have added right now. So now you understand how easy it is to use serializers, right? The same endpoint you can use in your Postman too. Okay, so you just uh, give it a try. All right, so because Postman is widely used API client for developing any uh, software applications. Okay, all right. So that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.